In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter a list of data into your calculator. And so if we're taking a look at our calculator here, uh, by the way, this is the list of data we're going to be entering. I should have mentioned that part. So here's the data we're dealing with. Uh, the first thing that you'll want to do is get out your calculator and make sure it's turned on. So you'll press the on key down here to turn it on. And then what you'll want to do is to press the stat key to go into your statistics menu. And the statistics menu has three main submenus. One that says edit, one that says calc, which is calculate, and one that says tests. Now to enter data and to manipulate data, all of that is done in the edit submenu. And right now where number one is highlighted, that's where we want to go. We want to edit. That's where you input lists of data. So you can either press the number one to go and select the edit option, or you can just press enter since edit is highlighted. And that will take you into uh, a screen that looks like this. You should have some lists across the top, list one, list two, list three, and so on and so forth. When you get in here, you may find a couple of things. You may find that you have a list that is missing you may also find, like I did, that you have a list that already has some data in it, and that's not the data that I want to work with. So first, let's talk about clearing out that list, and then we can talk about what to do if you have a list that's missing. So to clear out list one, I need to press the up arrow key to scroll up until the name of the list is highlighted, when list one is highlighted. Then press clear and enter and that will clear out the list for you. If you just press clear, nothing will happen. That's kind of the calculator's fail safe to make sure that you actually want to clear the list. You have to press both clear and then enter to make the calculator clear that list. Now, one of the things that could happen is let's say you come into your menu here and you don't see a list one, you just see list two, list three, list four, and so on. That means at some point, instead of somebody pressing clear and enter, they accidentally press delete, which deletes the entire list. It doesn't just clear it out, it deletes list one. If you should find yourself in that scenario, under stat and edit, that very first menu, this last option is setup editor. That will get any lists that have accidentally been deleted back for you. So you can either scroll down until setup editor is highlighted and press enter or you can just press the number five. So setup editor, that's what we want to run. Press enter to run it and all it will say on the main screen is done. But when we go back into stat and edit, now our list one is there. Okay, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and use list one. Make sure it's all nice and clear, there's no data in there. And then we want to enter in this list of data here. The way that we do that is we'll put in the, whoops, sorry, went too far there. Let me bring that back down. We'll put in the first piece of data, which in this case is the number one. Then press enter, and that'll drop you down to the next blank space and then you'll put in the next piece of data. You can either read down columns or across rows. Your calculator doesn't care what order the data are uh, stored in because we can also go back and put them in order later. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to read down the columns. So we have one, we press enter, five, enter, seven, enter, three, enter, five, enter, six, enter, eight, enter, seven, enter, Pardon me, my phone's ringing in the background. I hope you can ignore that. <laughs> 5, enter. 7, enter. 11, enter. 8, enter. 6, enter. 6, enter. 2, enter. 8, enter. 7, enter. 6, enter. 4, enter. 9, enter. 4, enter. 5, enter. 6, enter. 9, enter. 8, enter. 8, enter. 5, enter. 10, enter, 7, enter, 9, enter, 12, enter, 9, enter, 6, enter, 9, enter, 13, enter, 8, enter, 5, enter, 10, enter, 
6, enter, 9, enter. And that's how you put in a list of data. Uh, from here, we can do a number of things with this. We can sort the data. We can um, make all sorts of data displays. And there'll be separate videos for each of those.